and you join me in quite an interesting time. It's once again 12th of November 2018. You can see pretty clearly on the title here that I've called this Uploading MKV Video Files to YouTube. Not to be cool or clever, just because it solves a big problem for me. You'll see that on the bottom here we've got OBS Studio Recording Format MKV, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. And then the bigger version says that I'm recording in MKV. Now, why should I bother doing that or either spending any time with MKVs? Because for me personally, as I'm speaking to you now um, on my Windows 10 machine, which you'll probably see in the last video has just been re Freshed, shall we say, because I had a problem with it, and I want to keep it uh, sweet and fast and good. And so, if I use OBS Studio, which I always do for screen recording on Windows, I get some choices. And you can see where the laser pointer is uh, Flash Video MP4, which is normally my favorite, uh, Dot Movie never use it, MKVs, which I didn't realize was there, TSs, and M3U8s, which I've got no kind of idea. Now, when I reinstalled OBS Classic, what I got when, sorry, OBS Studio, I do not use Classic anymore because it's the older one, I opened up the recording output area and my normal MP4 was there. Underneath it was a very kind two-line uh, warning, which reads, warning, recordings saved to MP4 will be unrecoverable if the file cannot be finalized. For example, of uh, black screen of death, power losses, etc. If you want to record multiple audio tracks, consider using MKV, Remux, uh, and Remux? the recording to MP4 after it is finished. I'm thinking, well, that's useful, but quite honestly, I've started to use MKVs so much more. I get so much pleasure out of watching MKV files. And I'm thinking, well, it solves a lot of problems for me. This is a demonstration screen with the last video that I've uploaded to YouTube. And you'll notice on the right hand side, the arrow, which my native raw file actually reads as .mkv as proof. Now it's not without warning again, because YouTube have got no evidence there that they support these kind of files. And why on earth am I showing you a Matroska doll? Because it's really, really interesting where we're going to go next with this video just for a couple of seconds. Before I do any of that, I just want to demonstrate something very quickly. And it's really simple, and that is I'm speaking to you on OBS Studio, which is recording right now, as you can clearly see. And you can see that my microphone is going up and down, and I'm trying to keep it at the magic minus 12 decibels using my Zoom H2N. Now, if I go to Settings, and this is why I've had to do the screens earlier, and that is that you've got the General Settings uh, Stream Output, where we are and you can see that I'm recording if successful as an MKV video recording format right now which I'm going to end and then of course upload it to YouTube where all things good you will watch it. Audio of course is the Zoom recording mixer which is a download which I'm speaking to you on and I am only recording um, eight frames per second and you'll notice also that the output and I lost this when I rebooted or re refreshed my Windows machine and that is I thought my bit rate was about 1000 but for some reason it's two and a half thousand and it's not giving me any errors right now so that was a little bit about OBS as you can clearly see what we are doing I've been going for 345 and I've got 13 percent CPU at eight frames per second so that's all good as I would say it. So let's just move that out the way and go back to where we were, which was just to end this off on the Matroska dolls, because what you find here is just as a, a back step, if you like, that supported YouTube file formats uh, are this lot. MKV is never mentioned. There is another button there. I, I don't know is the answer, because what is MKV? V all about. So if we actually go back down to um, Matroska, which by the way, that is the uh, official thing, Matroska Multimedia Container is an open standard, yada yada, which is MKV. I'll put the link in the box uh, in a moment. You can read all about it. Now, the name, which I thought was really interesting, is because if you start to read, let's make this a bit bigger. Uh, because there is a website that actually goes on about this. And this is where I'm going to go next, but I haven't done it yet. And that is the Matroska Multimedia Container. It's an open standard free container format that can hold an unlimited number of video, audio, picture, 
picture or subtitle tracks in one file. Yada, yada, yada. Matroska is similar to... And the bit that if you want to see where the name is come from is derived from the Matroska... Oh, sorry, I can't speak Russian. Uh, which refers to the hollow wooden Russian Matroska... Ma Matroska? Matroska, maybe? Doll. So... That's the really, really interesting part about MKVs. I found a website. I think it links back. Um, I'm not sure that it does, actually. Let's have a look. If I go to, of course, the Matroska one, which I want to... Um, that's about dolls. It's not about video files, let's be honest, is it? And if we go to Matroska, it's actually the... I've not been here, so let's see where we go. Right, Matroska is a media container which I'm about to read... On Googling, I found this thing called Make MKV, and there is a download Make MKV for Windows, which I've not touched, so I'm not recommending this whatsoever until I've tried it, and then I'll report back to you. But according to the bit, we've got a link to the Wikipedia article, which seems pretty fair. We've got the description of the files, and we've got the Windows download of how to make them and play them, and that is that. So I can't vouch for this site. Uh, I've only just clicked on the Matroska site as well, which I'm not sure about yet, so I won't touch it. But what I do want to touch very much is the idea that this is being recorded in an MKV. Quite a fan of them because I think they play back really, really well and the quality is excellent. And maybe they are better. But please let me know about this because my point of it, as you can clearly see on screen, is uploading the things and recording the things using it OBS here. So have a great day. And good luck with whatever you see or try out here.